Alrighty, hi everyone, I am Blaze here. So in this episode, I intend to show where every single one of the fire pot locations puts you out at. Just for posterity's sake. I want to see it. I want to know, just so I can see where it spawns you in at. This video might take a while, but hopefully Faded R isn't up and I get smacked. Pet attack faded R. Okay, I don't see him, but we'll hope otherwise. So, first one, let's do uh, Freeport. Let's see where it pops you in at. Okay, Freeport do drops you in right at the docks in East Freeport, and it, uh, yeah, that's close to Plain of Sky, so that's pretty quick to Plain of Sky if you're going to raid that. Let's go to the next one. Gonna be a lot of zoning, so bear with me. <laughs> um, let's go to this is Hallis. Actually, Aerodin might be closer to Hallis, I mean, to Kanos. Okay, so it drops you right off in the sucker point. I think all of these, they drop you off of the sucker. All right, uh, let's check out Cabalus. In P99, I think it drops you off right in front of the Monk Guild, but this is for live. Okay, so it drops you off right next to Wake of Lake of Ill Omen on the southmost portion of Cabalus. Okay. And this is the area with the Warrior Guild and the Necromancer Guild, I believe. And is this the sucker point? Yep, it is. All right, so let's check. The next one is near Yak. No. Kaladim. Let's check out Kaladim. Where does that pop you out at? Going to every zone. Jeez Louise. Um, it drops you out again at the Suker point, right at the entrance. Okay. Not bad. Let's put on Lich. And get attacked. As soon as we <laughs> do so. Okie dokie, I gotta be careful because these guards might not like me. So that is not safe to, to go inside. That is not a safe fort if you're evil.
Same with Freeport. Freeport is not a safe port. Alice 2. Okay, let's check out the next one is... Akanon. So yeah, I think with all of these, they just drop you out at the seeker point or sucker point at every zone. I just want to make sure it's safe traveling to all this. Akanon, yeah, this is the place I first made Kidorian. He's originally a gnome a necromancer. Um, again, the Sucre Point. Okay, this is a safe entrance. He didn't like me. They don't want me back? City violation. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's committing a pretty bad city violation just by being there. Okay, so the next one I'm going to check out is Rivervale. And it drops you again at the sucker point, and this is not safe again. Yeah, you'd be attacked as soon as you came in. All right, let's go to the next one. Is Gukta, which is Grob, actually. And Grob is closest to what? Rivervale is closest to High Keep. And Grob is closest to Inethul. This is a safe sucker point, definitely. And Inethul has Guck, I believe. But this is the closest to Guck. Let's just verify. City Agak. This is why it's nice to be at the fire pots to be bound there. Holy smokes, you can get around so many different cities pretty fast. Um, so the next one I want to take a look at is Ogok. See where that puts you in. And this is the closest plane of fear and Wraith Mountains. Okay, so this is a safe entrance too. Let's see where Ogok is relative in the zone. And also probably uh, the Temple of Kazakh Thule if you wanted to go there. That's a place I've never experienced, but let's check it out. Okay, so Ogok is in the center of the zone, and Kazakh Thule is down there. Wraith is not that far away, and Plane of Fear down there. Okay, not that far away. So this is the fastest of Plane of Fear and Wraith. That's where part of the Necro Epic is down there in uh, the Lake Wraith tier. And you can actually sucker all the way in to the exit of Wraith Mountains to Lake Wraith tier. So it's really quick. 
Um, next spot I'm going to check out is Erudin. So this might be a closer port to Kanos. Let's check it out. Halos is definitely closer to Permafrost, but this is, okay, this is absolutely closer to Kanos because the translocator's right there, so you're only two zones away. All right, but it is not a safe zone in. And uh, this Erudin one is the closest to the hole. It's the closest one to the hole, so it's not that far away. Um, the next one we'll check out is Nuriak. So this is going to be the closest to Nagafin's lair. And this is actually my favorite fire pot. And I'll show why. It's actually faster for me to go to the to, to gate to Niriak and to use the bank here. I'll show it. So it puts you right in the middle in Niriak Commons. And if you just run right here, click on this, click on that, go into the bank. And I'm going to click off my. What did you? Oh, is that as? No, that's a weird. I don't know how he got. I've never seen. The gill brackets always have that thing on it. That the. Uh, whatever. Something's weird with that guy. Okay, I'm going to click off an illusion, uh, invisibility. So I am a Ixar Necromancer with Kazakh Thule with 22 Charisma. I've killed guards here when I was still a, uh, a gnome, and I'm ally with the Parcel Merchant here. There's no path in guards, so it's easy to sell. And the banker I'm indifferent to or dubious, I can sell here as well. Sell and bank here all in one shop. And it's one single port away. The origin I have to Kabbalist takes me right to the Necromancer Guild, which is still a zone over from the bank. So this is actually the closest bank I'm bound to. Yeah, the closest bank and parcel merchant that I'm bound to. It's that I can use as an XR. Super, super convenient. Um, the next one I'm going to show off is Greater Fate Arc. This is one I complained about, Northern Felwith and Fate Arc. I, it doesn't make sense why they put those two together. They're, they're so close that it makes... It's just stupid. They shouldn't have done those two fire pots. They should have changed Northern Felwith to Kanos. That's flat out my straight up opinion. That's what it should have been. So again, yeah, it puts you at the sucker point. I like using this greater fate arc thing. I you, I can bank here too, and use the parcel merchant. The only thing I no, you can't use a parcel merchant as an XR. I remember that. Yeah, he wouldn't do anything with me. The thing I like about greater fate arc is it puts you right in the newbie area, and it's quick to find a mob to use your uh your worker sledge mallet to go to the over there. Puts you right into a newbie yard to go attack mobs. And let's go to Northern Felwith next. The port that should not be here.
I think if you could kill the guards here, but they were too hard when I tried to do it. Their their resists were so freakishly high that I could barely land anything on them. Maybe on P99 you could kill these guards pretty easily for EXP and money, but I was never able to really do it efficiently. So yeah, all these spots they put you out to the the uh, sucker point. This is not a safe entrance. <sighs> a circlet of shadow is so useful on necromancers in this case. Let's you travel around real easy. All right, let's go to the next one. Did we go to all of them? Might have gone to all of them. Went to Grob, Agog, Erdin, Ariac, Greater Arcalis. Yeah, we went to all of them. So, uh, yeah, if any of you guys want to know where the fire pots are, they're just down here in the south in Timorous Deep. Quickest way to get to Timorous Deep is uh, by our Butcher Block, the Translocator, or using uh, at least the fire pots you want to go through Butcher Block is quicker, less of a run. Um, but you can also go through North Row, do that, and uh, easy to go. Um, and if you're pretty far away from Butcher Block, you can use your uh, your over there hammer, put yourself at the docks there and uh, over there, and just run all the way down. Long run, but hey, if you can sucker, you can split the distance in half, more than half. You're probably almost there. Yeah, if you can sucker. But, alrighty, I think I'm just going to park him at Nuriak for now. And Nuriak is a pretty easily recognizable, there's the pot. But thank you guys all for watching it, I'll see you in the next one.